Good morning! Teacher Alex here and today we will be learning about English! <coughs> Last time we talked about nouns, right? And today our topic is all about pronouns. Are you ready? Yes, you pronoun. are. What is pronoun? A pronoun is a word that takes the place of a noun or nouns in a sentence. Today, I'm going to give you a few examples for you to understand it more. Okay? Students, here are some examples of pronouns. Let's check them out. The words I, you, he, she, it, we, and they are pronouns. All right, students, for us to understand pronoun, we have to understand that there is a subject and an object, or subjective or objective in pronouns. All right, so what are those subjective and objectives? Those are, subjectives are I and we. Objectives are me and us. And of course, there is what we call singular pronoun and plural pronoun. So, for example, I, we are subjective because they are the ones who do the action in a sentence. So let me give you an example. Okay, students, for you to understand it more, let me give you an example of a subjective pronoun. So that's the word I, right? So I'm going to use it in a sentence. So playing guitar is a verb, correct? So I is a pronoun, correct? So I am playing the guitar. So, I am the one who's doing the action. That is because I is a subjective. Subjective pronouns are the ones who's doing the action. Now, let me give you an example of an objective pronoun. Let's use the word me. And in my sentence here, Anna likes me. Anna likes me. The one who's doing the action is Anna. So me is the objective pronoun. You got it? Now let's go in the plural form of pronoun. Let's use the word we. We are singing a song. Remember, singing is a verb. It's an action, right? So we are the ones who's doing the action. So we are singing a song. Now let me give you an example of an objective pronoun in the plural form, us. Okay, so my example is, Johan loves us. Johan loves us. All right, students, now that we understand what subjective and objective pronouns are, let's talk about the number and gender. And, and by the way, subjective pronoun is the one who's doing the action. And an objective pronoun is the one affected by the action. Actions are verbs, but not all verbs are action words. Sometimes it is a state verb, linking verb, or verb to be. Number. Number means the number of a person in a sentence. And gender, it means masculine and feminine. Masculine for a man, or in layman's term, it's a boy. And feminine for a female. In layman's term, it's a girl. And we talk about he, she for subjective pronoun, and him, her for objective pronoun. Example number one is, he drives a car. 
we are talking about he, the masculine, the boy, right? He drives a car. The pronoun we use is he. Now let's go to the objective pronoun. Let's use the word him. The dog is playing with him. So we are talking about a boy, correct? We use the word him. The dog is playing with him. Him is the objective pronoun. Number two example is, let's take a look with this girl. What do you think the girl is doing? You're correct. She is holding a book or she holds a book. All right. In this sentence, we're going to use the pronoun her. The baby remembers her. The baby remembers her. Her is a feminine or a girl. So, the baby remembers her. Her is an objective pronoun. Exercises Now we will have a short exercise. Directions. Circle the correct pronoun to complete each sentence. Number one, I, me, am the winner of the writing contest. Number two, the fairy gave he, him, three wishes. Number three, we, us, came here to party. Number four, she, her, skates fast. Number five, mom reads a story to I, me. Number six, the clown did a trick for we, us. Number seven, the coach gave I, me a smile. Number eight, we, us, played a game of tennis. Number nine, the teacher gave we, us, a treat. Number 10. My pet came with I, me, to the park. Students, for this exercise, do not forget to write the date today. And if you're having a hard time in copying it, you can post the video so that you can copy it properly. Remember to write this on your English notebook. Homework. Students, for your homework, I want you to search for the third person pronoun. You can check on the Google as well. You can see there that there is a word neuter. What is the pronoun for the neuter? And what are the pronouns for plural epicin? Thank you. Students, what did we learn today? We learned about pronouns. Alright kids, thank you so much for dropping by. And I hope you learned a lot from me today. Thank you. Bye-bye.